Okay, so today we are going to start adding on the kind of decorations or the accessories to our shoe. So here's the piece that I made as the example. So we're going to look at putting on the kind of plastic outer edge of the shoe. We're going to look at how we're going to do some laces. And then we're also going to look at eyelets and then some general logos that you can add to the shoe. Okay. So what I have here is the shoe that we all made together. Uh, a little bit smaller than that one, a little clunkier, but we can work on that. So one of the things we can do is some of you were concerned that the front toe didn't look quite right. Now that the clay is a little drier, we can start smoothing, we can start shaping, okay? Before it was so wet that if you were to push on it, it would just collapse. But now we can kind of push on it. We can, if there's a hole somewhere or a, a gap, we can slip and score a little bit and add on just a little smidge to fill in a hole, right? So that it all becomes really nice and smooth. The first thing we're going to look at is putting on some sort of a base so that your shoe looks like it has kind of the plastic that comes up the side. The easiest thing to do for this is to kind of carve it in. Just taking a tool and going around the edge. We can continue to carve it. We can also add stuff on, right? So. If we do that and we look at it and we're like, oh, I really wish it kind of stood out further, we can slip and score as always. Scratch it up really good. You're probably going to want to scratch really well because your shoes have been drying out. As things get drier, they need more clay glue and more scratching, right? More of the scoring, right? We can get that ready and we can make a coil. Remember, we make the coils by kind of squeezing it in our hands. Then on the table, we push from the center out. We are almost pulling the coil. And in general, our coils or snakes are round, but there's nothing that says they have to be, right? So we can start to flatten them out. Now we don't want to push too hard because it will stick to the table. All right, but we can flatten it out, make it nice and uh, rectilinear, so like a rectangle. And we can cut it along the edge. We can use Actually, the needle tool is the best tool for that. You know, there's only one at each table, or maybe not one at all. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Assistant. Um, we can cut the edges to make it really crisp, right? And we will just apply this like we would anything else. We've slipped and scored, and we will just put it around the edge of our shoe. So once we get it here, we want to smush, remember, smush, smush, smush. Attach it on the bottom, okay. We can attach it on the side by pushing in really gently, okay. And then we could also go around, use one of our tools and make sure it's really well attached here as well. And that's how I got the raised edge on the demo shoe right here, right, by adding on a piece like this, okay? Now, it might not fit perfectly, but it's going to be pretty close, and that gives it the sense that there's plastic edge. We can do the same thing here to create the kind of plastic toe that some shoes have. Maybe your shoe doesn't have that. You don't have to do that, but if you want to, you can. Uh, again, that's what I've done here. Just added a ridge, which is a coil. The most important part of shoes, or the most part we think about shoes the most as, is probably the laces, right? So we're going to start by creating a place for the laces to go. In general, they go straight down the front of the shoe here. So I'm just making a line about where they would go, okay? For the, shoe, for the shoelaces to go through, there are eyelets. There are a couple different ways to make those, right? We can just make a hole, right? Make a hole for the eyelets. We can also take a little bit of clay, always a little bit of a clay glue, and here I'm taking a ball and I'm flattening the ball into a tiny little pancake, attaching that, and then I'm running the tool through that to make the hole, right? 
and that gives it the raised part that we kind of associate with those metal eyelets that the shoelaces go through, right? So two different ways to do that. Then we're going to add the actual laces. Now the laces are tricky. We're going to make very thin coils, and sometimes when clay gets thin, it likes to break. So we want to use uh, very careful hands, very careful treatment of the clay. We start the coil in our hands, we get it on the table, and I'm pushing very, very gently. Very gently. If we see the clay starting to crack and we're worried about that, we can take just a little bit of the slip on our fingers and run it along there. But that's probably good enough, right? We'll make this lace kind of come out a little bit and come over to the other side, right? Same thing for the next lace, right? Come in there. Probably put a little bit of clay glue here just so it'll stick really well and come across to the other side. Now I know laces actually weave back and forth, but I think if you just do it across, it'll look good enough to convey the idea that they're laces, okay? So we'll do that all the way up to the top, okay? Or as far up as you want. Mine isn't done all the way to the top, it's partially uh, undone, okay? The trick to uh, the laces is that when you get to the part where you have the leftover laces, where you would make the bow, or something like that, uh, you need to make sure that it's not hanging off like this, right? If your clay is hanging off like that, sure it looks cool, but it will break, okay? It will absolutely not stay on. So if we want to have the laces come out on the top and hang down, we need to attach them to the body of the shoe, okay? We need to make sure that they stick on like a coil. Now we can paint them white and make it look, you know, like laces, but we just cannot have them hanging out. The same thing goes for a bow. If you wanna make a bow, that's fine, right? This is not an impossible thing. You'll make a coil and you'll actually probably uh, pretty much tie a bow, right? We'll make a bow here, a loop there to make the one loop, a loop there to make the other loop, Okay, the beginnings of a bow there, just by looping it. But we want to make sure we attach it. If it hangs out, it'll break. If we attach it, it'll stay, right? So we want to make sure that we're attaching everything by slipping and scoring it, right? Okay, so we have the edge of the shoe, the nice plastic. We have maybe the toe. We can carve different patterns into it. You know, sometimes shoes have different patterns, different things that are happening. We can also put some sort of a logo on, right? So here I have the all-star logo on the shoe, right? But you could come up with your own logo. Maybe we'll make one for Mr. Thomas's art class. Okay, so we will make a little badge, make a ball flatten it out like a pancake, and we can carve into it with our tools. Maybe it should say art, because we love art, all right, art, yeah, art. And then we can attach this the same way, right? We will slip and score and put the badge on. Okay, we could add things on the back. We can add things that are coming off of it all of the way, right? It's really up to you how you want to finish decorating it. But these are the basic ways that you apply stuff.